guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and if you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids in less than 5 minutes with the stuff available at home, this is the right space for you. Uh, I'm sharing with you these amazing mat cards that I, I have made and I think you will be super surprised to know that how amazingly um, engaging these are. They're very easy to make, you won't take much time to make it and uh, they're extremely interactive so the kids are doing many things with just one card uh, maths is something that everybody needs to practice almost every day you are revising either you're doing your homework or you're learning something or you're practicing something with these cards there are so many concepts that can be done in just one day and one card or two cards is more than sufficient for the kids to begin with you can um uh, definitely improvise the cards according to your child's age but the ones that I have made would be for the, um, I would say at least six plus but seven to eight years minimum for the ones that I have made but you can definitely improvise so without delaying further make sure that you subscribe so every time I, I upload these amazing activities for you you get the notification and can't wait to show you show it to you let's get going all right guys so these are the cards that i've made and if you will see what i've done is i've just taken a blank paper okay and um, i have just written um different things for each card and i'm going to show you all of them um just in a matter of time um so i have taken the number 684 and i've used my postcards here and i have put it here so that this can be removed and can be replaced by another number okay so the first thing is you make it half then you less 229 so you have um, you have to first make it half then you need to subtract then you need to round close to the closest hundreds then you need to divide by 2 make it odd number by subtracting 81 from this use the greater than less than or equal to sign for 388 comparing to this number and complete the pattern and add each uh, add 8 each time so there are seven things that needs to be done with just one number so I would say like this is going to be super interesting for kids. These are can they can be like amazing observe and solve cards. You can make it for your kids with smaller numbers if you think, and you can definitely change them. And I'll show you how. Um, let's move forward and see the second card. Okay, so I have used the word now the number four forty two, and it is add eighty divide by two, make it forty less, mark the tens place, complete the pattern at fifteen each time use greater than less than make it into an odd number so i have not written how to make an odd number and he can do it according to his wish but you can see there are different things that i'm adding into each card now card number three where i've only used um 36 and this is not a three digit number so here i've written at 47 make it half divide by three complete each pattern by adding 14 each time round up to tens add dash to make it 100 so he needs to have these six points to be figured out for this one okay now we have 105 this says make it 200 by adding add 44 divide by 5 um, make sure you subtract less is 64 round up closest to 100 one thing that you have to make sure that when you're doing this um, when when you're making it is I'm not giving away a lot of things like less 64 I'm not saying minus round up to closest hundreds um, it could be more, it could be less, but when you have to do round up to closes, it's like you have to observe this number and then do it. So that's what, if your child has already been doing all these things, that's when it will be helpful. If not, I would say improvise according to your child's age and um, on what position they are doing maths too. Okay, then we have 27, add 164, divide by 3, how many 10s and 1s? This is completely DIY, amazing for maths practice in the evening. Just one card, I think, and they're trying to do seven different topics. So I that's what I loved about when I'm creating these cards, that they are so versatile and they can be done in so many different ways. So that's it, guys. And uh, I hope if you like it, make sure that you press the subscribe button, hit the like, and leave a comment if you think you'll be trying this on. And if you want a printable for this one with the full booklet, uh, that's a paid printable, make sure that you leave a comment or send me an email on Sonali Kapoor, S-O-N-A-L-I-K-A-P-O-O-R-0 at gmail.com, and I'll reply back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.